Hi, welcome to Irvine Pets and Company. I'm your host, Kathy Graves. This is Diane, one of our dog volunteers. And who do you have? This is Deirdre. Uh-huh. She's a three-year-old spayed mix of Chihuahua and Pug. Oh. Uh, she's very sweet. She's got a lot of energy, but she also likes to sit on your lap. Well, Deirdre would be a great companion for just about anyone, just like all of the animals here at the Irvine Animal Care Center. Definitely. So don't touch that remote, stay with us for the next 30 minutes, and we'll be seeing just a few of the animals available for adoption here at the Irvine Animal Care Center. Bob, you have a big bear of a dog here. I do. Doesn't this look like a teddy bear? He is. Guess what? This is Teddy. Perfect. Teddy is not only a boy's dog or a man's dog, he's a dog's dog. <laughs> this is a gorgeous, the most perfectly behaved chow, um, chow imaginable. Uh, you can see from his black tongue, he's mostly chow. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been brought up that he may be a little bit of golden retriever, which may contribute to his wonderful personality. Mm -hmm. He walks on a leash beautifully. He follows you everywhere. He wants to sit on your lap, which if you're <laughs> 80 pounds is a little tough. If you're my size, it works very, very well. <laughs> Teddy is sweet. Teddy just wants to go home. And he looks like he'll walk with you, sit on you, play with you. He is not rambunctious. He is perfect on a leash. He's a big dog, but he's so well-mannered that people like the bigger dogs. He'd be perfect because he'll follow you anywhere, be a great pal for you. Yeah, because a lot of times, Kathy, big dogs are pretty overwhelming and they Correct. can get out. Teddy is not. Teddy just wants to be you. Teddy thinks he's a person. Well, um, I think he is too. Well, he is. If you want just a big teddy bear of a dog, please come over to see Teddy. What a beautiful girl you have here, Cindy. Who is this? This is Solo. She's a four-year-old boxer. They say Jack Russell. I think Beagle Mix. Oh, okay. She was uh, relinquished by her owner, and she's here looking for her new forever home. She's easy to walk. She's um, really a good girl. She sits really well. Nice, well-behaved dog, and I think nice, good size. A lot of people are looking for a medium-sized dog, so she would fit the bill for that. So I think um, um, she, it won't take her long to find the right home. Well, she does. She uh, looks very well mannered. She's obviously had some training, been in a good home, and some reason that they had to bring her here. Right. But, so, uh, but everybody here is falling in love with her, and it, part of it's just her charming look, the the interesting mix. So, uh -huh. when, when we talk about designer, don't get down, sweetie. Oh, designer. Designer blend, we, we created this. No, yeah. <laughs> Probably an accident, but definitely it turned out very cute. Now, if she's a box and a beagle, would that make her a, a boggle? Oh, okay, well, a new one. <laughs> we can start something new. Well, very you're looking cute. for a really nice girl. This is Solo. Frank, this is Max. What do we know about Max? We don't know a whole lot about him uh -huh. because he came from another shelter. Okay. Okay. Uh, but he's about uh, five years old. He's a uh, beagle mix. Mm -hmm. He's a real sweet guy. All right. He uh, would probably do better in a home with children over 12 because okay. he is shy. Okay. Okay. Uh, but he's a real friendly when you get to know him. So he probably needs a quieter home or somebody that's going to understand that he may not care for rambunctiousness. <laughs> that, I think, is very true. Okay. Although, maybe when he gets into his home and gets used to the setting and knows he has a family, he'll probably come out of his shell. Yes, I think once he gets to know you a little bit, he wants to be right in your lap. Yeah. He has a nice hop in his step when he walks. Yes. <laughs> he looks like a happy dog. He just needs to, probably just doesn't know why he's here. He but, came in through third chance. He's been in several places. Yeah. 
but I don't think he's going to be here very long. No, he's an adorable dog. So if you're looking for a, a dog and have a quieter home, Max would be perfect for you. Lori, what a cute little girl you have there. Who this is she? Is sweet Chanel. 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 She's a terrier mix, uh -huh. and she's probably around two years old, maybe a little younger, we're not real sure. Such a sweetheart. She's, uh, she loves everybody. Uh -huh. She likes to be held. She likes to go for walks, except she needs a little uh, training on the walking, but oh well. she's okay. But a great size, at somewhere around nine, nine and a half pounds or so, and full mm -hmm. grown at this point. And I just think her coloring is so great. She's got little white feet and oh. a white tip on her tail and uh, gives nice little cheek kisses, so, so she's really sweet. And she's good with kids. Oh, that's great. Yeah, one of the other volunteers told me that sh there was a family here with uh, three kids, uh -huh. and she was just playing with them like crazy. So. Well, she looks like she wants, anybody that would come in is probably her best friend if they Th came to your I house. think so, I think so. Yeah. Just a fun-loving, typical terrier, yeah. you know, <laughs> bouncing around, <laughs> but she's so, so sweet. She is, and she has an adorable face. She has kind of that springy terrier fur on her face with the expressive yep, eyebrows. Yes, yes. So somebody wanting a smaller dog, but full of pep. This is Chanel. Diane, you have a lot of energy in one little package. I sure do. This is Blitzen, uh -huh. and he's a five-year-old neutered male. He's part Italian Greyhound and Jack Russell. So, oh, <laughs> lots of stuff in there. Lots of stuff. He's very energetic. I think, uh, I don't think he should probably go to somebody, an elderly couple, even though he's great. He really does love to sit with you, but this dog needs a lot of uh, walking and okay. running around because he's got a lot of energy. I think he'd make a great family pet because he really is very sweet. Well, that's great. Somebody that could walk him at least twice a day and a, a yard would be nice too so that he can run around, but getting in those walks would probably be essential for him. Yeah, he's, he's a good boy too. Not a lot of barking. When he's oh. in his kennel, there was no barking at all. He surprised me with his energy level when I took him out though. <laughs> <laughs> but he really is great. He, 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 uh, he sheds a lot, so, oh. you know, uh, which some people may bother some people in their home, so that's a consideration. But boy, he's a really one terrific little guy. Deborah, this is such a nice, quiet little boy for a little dog, too. <laughs> yes, this is Carlton. He's six years old, and he's a miniature pincher. Oh, okay. And he's, he's very playful. He's a lot of fun. He's quiet, walks good on a leash. He's a perfect dog for family. I think he'd be great in uh, even a home for an older person. Mm -hmm. He's just really easy, a lot of fun. Well, Carlton sounds like just a great all-around dog. Got a lot of personality. He's obviously had some training, but somebody that would like to work with him. I'm sure that he would be uh, very easy to work with and train new things too. And the fact that he's a smaller dog and doesn't have the barking, even in, uh, where we're living so close together here, that would be a, a great asset for him. Yes. But uh, I could say an older person that just wants a friend, a family that wants somebody to play with, I think Carlton would just be happy with any of that. Yes. He's so perfect size. For, he's a great dog. So if you're looking for a great little dog, this is Carlton. Mary Lou, you're here with one of our senior citizens, but still lots of spunk and love to give. This is 10-year-old Dixon. Now, he has the zest and the energy of a dog half his age. Aww. He is just a wonderful, um, full of energy, full of happiness. Uh, he came in as a stray and needed a, um, he needed a serious bath and some hardcore scissoring. But then, this is what turned out. He is really a handsome, handsome guy. Loves to go out, loves to walk, uh, easy to walk, a great companion for someone of any age. Now the advantage for this guy is that uh, a senior can adopt him uh, for no adoption fee. It's a senior 
for seniors program and you need to turn around and look at the camera. There you are. He's just a handsome guy, just a great companion for anyone. Well, he's a wonderful dog and we talked about some of the dogs earlier shedding, but the poodle does not shed. And so just some combing and brushing and occasional grooming, he'd be so easy to take care of. And at 10, it's not all that old yet. So well, he'd be hey, a wonderful this is the companion. Advantage, you know, an older dog like this, like this one especially, make great companions. He is, so come over and see Dixon. For more information about the animals featured on today's program, stop by the Irvine Animal Care Center or call our office. She's just as happy as can be. She's my sweet little angel. She's my D.O.G. Know what? Since I got adopted, I've learned a lot about these humans. Uh, I know. I mean, check out these two. It's Flirt City over here. Yeah, I noticed that. It looks like my human is definitely into your human. Oh, look! I think she's getting his number. Nice. Your human's got some sweet moves. Takes after his dog. <laughs> oh, look, they're doing that thing where they put their arms around each other. She kicked up a leg. It's like in the movies. That's awesome. Looks like we're going to be hanging out a little bit more. in the kitty clubhouse today. I know, this is our great room where all the cats can roam around and make friends and play with our wide variety of excellent cat toys. They sure can, and Peanut has been enjoying this room. Mm -hmm. This is Peanut here on my lap. Mm -hmm. um, you can't make this up. Peanut was uh, had to leave his home because someone was allergic oh. to Peanuts. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that it's a big allergy problem yes, these yeah. days, yes, people and peanuts. So, so um, if you're not allergic to uh, cats, then Peanut would be a great cat for oh, you. Oh, he would. Very interactive, very mm -hmm. playful, um, very used to people. He yeah. is. He so. lived with another cat, and now he's living in, club, in the kitty clubhouse with other cats. So if you have a cat and you're looking for a friend for it, yes, um, Peanut would be a great one. Mm -hmm. Could acclimate to a roommate. Uh, That's very right. <laughs> That's right. So, yeah, he's a wonderful cat. He's just a big, all-around good boy. So if you're looking for a great cat, this is Peanut. And the next kitty is Nico. Nico, yes. Uh, Nico is another uh, very handsome, pretty uh, cat. Uh, yes, yes. With her uh, raccoon tail and her little black uh, part on the it, top of her head. That's right, that's right. Very pretty markings. Mm -hmm. She's another one where somebody was allergic and so they had to give up their kitties. Which is, yeah. you know, unfortunate. Yeah, but. unfortunately. Uh, there are things you can do for your allergies too. So, although I know some people have them really badly, but there are things you can do to control that. She's a real sweetie, but I think she likes to play really rough, and so she's going to need lots of toys to play with to Def keep her distracted. Definitely lots of cat toys, which of course the staff and volunteers can help out with, uh -huh. um, pointing out what uh, the best and favorite kinds for cats are. Right. Um, she's a very playful cat, though. Mm -hmm. Very lot of a uh, lot of energy inside. Um. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. But she's a real sweetie. I know one of our volunteers will get down on the floor and rub his head in her in her head and they just have a great time together. She but chirps when she's happy apparently. Yes, <laughs> she is. If you're looking for pretty and playful, this is Nico. And then we have Silky. Another beautiful cat. We just have all beautiful cats today. Absolutely. All I mean, cats are beautiful. That's true. There are no ugly cats. What no, was I they're saying? No, not. They're not. <laughs> <laughs> she has the most silky fur. Very aptly named. Indeed. And a lovely mustache. <laughs> yes, she does. She does. Yeah. I think Silky would probably be uh, a good cat for an experienced cat person. Yeah, someone who, uh, who's had cats before, I would uh -huh. say, for sure. Um, she's... Um, Exuberant. Exuberant. <laughs> exuberant. And Silky will let you know when she's done with you. Mm, yes, that's a good way to put it. Yeah. She, yeah she'll that's... define her limits very clearly. <laughs> yes, she will. But she's such a pretty cat and she just needs a chance to go into somebody's home. Mm -hmm. When she's in Kitty Clubhouse, it's wonderful because it is home-like here. But some cats, with all the other cats around, sometimes get overstimulated. Or... Some cats prefer to just be the only only cat in your life. Absolutely. Uh, they want to monopolize your attention. Right. <laughs> so.
So if you're looking for a really pretty girl, just gorgeous fur, please come over to see Silky. And Erica's here with Bam Bam. Bam Bam is a big boy. Yes, he is. <laughs> he's very fluffy. He's a tabby cat. He might even have a little Maine Coon in him because think, he's real big. Yeah, I think he does. Um, he is a little shy, so you got to be a little careful when you come up to him. But once you do, he loves to get his chin scratched and his face scratched, and he's he's a lover. No, oh, he is. He is. And he's another one. When you come into the kitty clubhouse, you just need to come in and sit, and they will come to you eventually. Correct. This is kind of their home, and so you're coming into their home. Yeah. And they're going to welcome you eventually. You just got to give them a little respect for Yeah, you do. Bam Bam likes to come up to somebody who's sitting here and rub up against your legs and kind of get to know you first before you start interacting with them. Yeah. Yeah. But he's a gorgeous cat because he's a Maine Coon mix of some kind. Uh, probably a lot of brushing and combing with he him. He would need some brushing for sure. Yeah. Well, Bam Bam's a great guy. He has a lot of personality. He's a little shy here, but in a home... I think he'll do great. He will. Now, this is Kilauea. Kilauea is another beautiful girl. She's mm -hmm. all black. Uh, she's a little bit shy. Mm -hmm. She got a little beat up in Kitty Clubhouse <laughs> by a bully. Yes, and he's now gone to a, his forever home. Yes, he's so, gone. He's doing well. And she's doing much better, yeah. too. Yeah, she came in quite a while ago, but I think she just got overlooked because of uh, the cats we had or because she was shy. And sometimes the shyer cats, you have to give them a chance. Yeah. So you have to let them come out. Now, I sometimes get her mixed up with Peanut. So when you come into the Get Acquainted or to the Kitty Clubhouse, Peanut's bigger, Kilauea's smaller. Yes. But Kilauea is a very sweet girl when mm -hmm. she warms up to you. She is. And because she's used to living with other cats here, I think she'd do well yes. in a home. It's I just, think she'd do better in a home with I, another cat. I think she would too. She's really a cat's cat. It's just that Franklin kind of wanted to yeah. run the place. So that was not Kilauea's fault. But if you're looking for a cat, if you have a cat that would like a friend, yeah. or you would like a friend for your cat, this is Kilauea. Well, somebody likes the poo books, but they need to check out the characters because this is Eeyore. Yes, and Eeyore is not sad at all, although no. she was a kitten here, and maybe when she was very small, okay. she was left with a name. She's in a group of beautiful cats. She is, mm -hmm. I am sure, the most beautiful because of her fur and the, that beautiful dilute color. She um, was fostered for a long time because she's quite young, but you'll notice she has a, a deformed foot, yeah, but which is not a problem for her, although Maybe a quiet home or a home that doesn't have a lot of obstacles to traverse would be good, but she's a wonderful cat. Oh, she is. And she's beautiful. Very sweet. She's a little shy right now because we've just brought her into Kitty Clubhouse and we have uh, this big um, enclosed area where kitties stay when they first come into the clubhouse to kind of get used to all the kitties around. But she's just getting used to that. But she's just as sweet as can be, and I know her paw really doesn't uh, hold her back. No. Oh. In fact, she just hops around happily on it. Yes, she does. Yes, she so. does. So if you're looking for a gorgeous muted tortie, a really sweet girl, a little shy at first, probably if you have a quiet home would be a good one for her. This is Eeyore. And here's another big boy. This is Grady. Yes, Grady is a blue cat, they call that mm -hmm. color. Mm -hmm. Very beautiful, dense coat, likes other cats a lot, mm -hmm. a big boy, lots of personality, yes. and he will allow you to pet him, but it has to be pretty much not too long, and he'll, he'll get, what someone says, peppery. Peppery. Sometimes. <laughs> okay. But it's not that he's hostile, he just needs his space and mm -hmm. his terms, and I think probably it's easy to overstimulate him when, you, when you're petting him. I think but so. it's worth it. He has lots of personality. And this is one of those homes you should probably, when you take him home, catify your home for him. Places to jump on. Uh, you need to play with him to work out some of that energy. And uh, I think that's just part of it. It's, we try to play with him here, but there's so much stimulation going on. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like this, this, this. But he's such a handsome guy. I'd almost say there's maybe some British short hair, Russian blue. I'm not sure where he gets that gorgeous coat from. But he's a great boy. So if you're looking for a nice, big, sturdy cat, this is Grady. 
For more information about the animals featured on today's program, stop by the Irvine Animal Care Just Center or call our office. A kitten with big green eyes and snow white paws. I know for certain she'll be climbing my curtain, leaving her hairballs on the floor. But I like cats. So I just moved in with this family and it's embarrassing. The little one, he likes to go outside and crawl around in the giant litter box. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I was born and I knew how to use the litter box. Look at that. That's disgusting. Oh, poop already. You're making me nervous. Oh, okay, I can't look at this anymore. I really hope he grows out of this for his sake. And here's Jesse with one of our rabbits. Who is this? This is Whitney. Whitney, okay. Whitney is one of our new arrivals Alrighty. here. Um, she's, uh, as you can see, not a big bunny. She is not. <laughs> but she's already a year old, so she's not getting any bigger. Okay. This is, this is a tiny uh, little thing. This is what you can expect. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Now, bunnies don't take up much room anyway, but if you want a really little bunny, this would be great. Mm -hmm. Though, of course, she doesn't want her space to live in, uh, yeah. big enough space to spread out. Uh, yeah. And also, you know, make sure your house is bunny proofed. Oh, yes, especially at this age. Yes. Um, bunnies, their teeth never stop growing, so they need to chew on things to keep them uh, at a proper length. Okay. So you need to provide wooden things for them to chew on. Okay. But in the absence of that, they yeah. will chew on everything else in your <laughs> That's <house>. right. <laughs> so let's remember to get those things and the staff and volunteers can certainly tell you about that if you haven't had a rabbit before. Well, she's just a real sweetie. So somebody that's looking for just an adorable little rabbit, you should come see Whitney. We have another little bunny too. Mm -hmm. This is Banksy. Okay. <laughs> Has he been out spray painting walls? Oh, well, we hope not, though he appears to have gotten his nose a bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's where that came from. <laughs> if you can see, she's blending in with my uh, with my pants here. It's he only the, the little foot and mm -hmm. the nose that uh, are showing up. Um, he's actually very young, mm -hmm. eight months. Oh, okay. He's yeah. still a baby. Yes, yeah, well, but probably not going to get much bigger than she is now. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you say rabbits mature fairly early. Fairly so... quickly, yes. Okay. Um, so, you know, once born, they have to they have to grow up fast. <laughs> right, because if he was in the wild, which house rabbits should not be, yes. uh, that's how they're going to survive. Exactly, yes. Um, He's a pretty mellow little guy, he, just kind of chilling right here. He is, he is, and that's a great attribute in some of these smaller rabbits. Absolutely, so. though of course still, you know, going to want toys and places to play mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, room to move around. Mm -hmm. uh, inside. Inside, yes. Yeah, never uh, outside. Yes, uh, <laughs> we have coyotes here. That's right, and lots of other things. Well, if you're looking for a sweet little guy, uh, he still has some little maturing to do. This is Banksy. This is our We Have to Get Duffy a Home show, isn't it? Absolutely. This is Duffy. Mm -hmm. uh, he's one of our four longest rabbit residents. Oh, my here goodness. At the he's been here since 2013. Oh, my goodness, Duffy. Now, I know and that uh, sometimes the white rabbits with the pink eyes are not as, as popular, but I think that's my classic rabbit, I think. Yeah, I would agree. And I'm sure Duffy just hasn't been adopted because not enough people know about what a great bunny he is. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. As you can see, he's Duffy the Puffy. <laughs> Duffy a, is Puffy. <laughs> he's a big, soft, white cotton ball of a bunny. He is. And um, he's sweet, and he's mellow, and um, playful. Uh -huh. So good. maybe, maybe when you first get to know Duffy, wear shirts that you don't uh, love so much. <laughs> <laughs> No, he's a rabbit. <laughs> uh, you know, can't change his nature. <laughs> no, but just give him something to keep him interested too. Exactly, yes. And uh, after spending, I mean, we have a great shelter here, we have great people here, but right. I think he deserves a home after being here for so long. He does, so I hope you have it in your heart. Maybe an experienced rabbit person like Duffy to know uh, all of his little idiosyncrasies, but he just needs a loving home, lots of toys to play with, and Duffy would be a wonderful rabbit for just about 
well, anyone who's experienced with rabbits will Absolutely. say. Absolutely. This is Duffy. For more information about the animals featured on today's program, stop by the Irvine Animal Care Center or call our office. Another adorable rabbit. Who is this? Uh, well, my memory is spotty, actually. Spotty. <laughs> this is spotty right here. Okay. <laughs> a very sweet bunny. Very handsome bunny with the with the pattern of colors he's got going on. Dappled. <laughs> dapple. A dapple. A dapple tan rabbit. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Well, Spotty's an adorable little rabbit looking for a home. Spring is in the air, time to get out, time to come over to the Irvine Animal Care Center and add a new member to your family. Absolutely. One or two, at least. So we hope to see you here at the Irvine Animal Care Center and next time on Irvine Pets and Company. Don't forget, spay or neuter your pet.